Well, morning campers, it's the 2nd of June, it's 10.59. Just got a kettle on, I'm up at, um, so if you can see my eyes, my hay fever is playing me up something terrible. So, I'm going to move. But I'm not going to move till later, I think I'll stay here, because I've got the temperature down here, what's it, 23.8. And I've got a through draft. I've got everything, all the, well, say all the blinds down. All apart from... That one there, and I've got the door, well, the door open. I mean, that's how open it was last night. I left it open last night because it was so bloody hot. And, um, I was out the front window, as you can see. They've been fucking fly tipping up here again. Well, I ain't been up here for a while. I'm not getting out because I'm not going to get in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see. W. You've seen it before, anyway, haven't you? Red flags flying, as you can see. Just hear firing. They've been firing over there all morning. Got the kettle on. Um, yeah, I was... Um, I can't remember. Is it something? Caper, is it? Caper, camper? Camp, camping, capers, caping? I don't know what his bloody name is. Um, on about... Um, didn't want to drive along with this slow cooker going through the inverter. Well... I had a slow cooker in my transit, which is the only one I've ever had with an inverter. And what I used to do, not very good really, is I had a great big um, saucepan, an old aluminium saucepan. Still had a handle on it, and what I'd done is I cut a slit down the side. So you put the air up because so you could put the thing through. And any of you in the bike or racing thing would know what a Zeus clip is. And on the floor by the bed where I wouldn't put my heel on it, I had the male, the female. No, the female. And I used to put the Zeus clip through the bottom of the saucepan. And I used to clip it down. Just clip it to the floor so it didn't move. And I found that quite useful. But those Zeus clips are good. Don't ask me what a Zeus clip is. Look it up. It's what they put panels on race cars with. You know, push it in like a little D on the top. Push it in through it. So it goes like that. Can't show you. Can't show you anyway. I don't feel like showing you really. I don't feel buddy. <laughs> This bloody apio does my head in. It's the first time I had a little bit yesterday. But it's the first time I had it. Look at the coos. They lovely. I was going to, um, I found my new, um, ring for my bags. You see it in there? And my litter picker is at the back. I'm just going to walk around here and pick a bit of rubbish up. But as you can see, looking at this side, oh, I'm bloody up now. I ain't got no shoes on, so I can't get out of here. It's a bloody... Some bits are still quite clean, but it's a beautiful view up here this way. But obviously, but then that's a tip. That's what the farmer tips all his crap in. Well, I ain't crap, so that's just a little pile of dirt. But out there, then, every now and again, he has a great big fire and he gets rid of it all. But all this used to be open and used to be able to drive up that track, that tree over there and go right down onto the edge and look out over the, um, look out over the countryside. Me and my mate Spanner, we used to um, come up here and i drive down to the edge of the, the bank and then uh, she used to get a fucking... Drove fucking mad by her kids and that, and she'd walk off down. Whatever the fuck she used to go, she used to walk off down. And I used to lay back in the car, put the seat back, and have a nap. And when she felt suitably refreshed, she used to come back up and I'd take her home. But yeah, and I did um her. Her first husband, Bill. I said to him one day, because her name's Sheena. And, um, I 
thought he was mispronouncing Sheena in the spanner. But I said to myself, I said, what do you call her? No, I said, what's her name? He went, Sheena. And I said, is that what you call her? He went, no, so I call her a spanner. I don't know. I said, what do you call her a spanner then? He said, the first time she sucked me dick, she made me nuts go tight. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. To be a laugh, isn't it? Some of the things people, some of the things people come out with, so it's so sort of, they come out with it so innocent, isn't it? And um, what was it somebody said it said the other, other day to me? Um, I know the punchline was a badly laid rug. I can't remember what it, what it said. But it made me chuckle. It had like a fucking sib oil. Anyway, I could do a shower, really. Uh, let's see how it goes on. But my eyes are bloody. don't like it when it's like this. Anyway, peeps, I won't keep you any more. So I, I should go to Stonehenge, I dare say, when I get there. I don't know if I should park down at the bottom end. Just depends how I feel. If I feel sort of like this, I should go at the top. I'll put my own in the bloody way. But, um, man, don't say don't rub your eyes. You try not rubbing your eyes with your eyes. It's like a bastard. Anyway, I'll speak to you all later. Remember, stay classy, no fighting. I love you all. <laughs> bye bye and you skins <laughs>